Today, I was coaching some Diamond and Champ players live to figure out the quickest mistakes they could fix to instantly rank up. So here are the best moments from those sessions that you can apply to your games if you're stuck below GC right now. And hey, if you're new here, my name's Luke. I'm a top 1% coach, and I run Rocket League's number one live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. Inside, we take gold through champ ranked players like you up to GC in just six weeks or less. And if you didn't catch it, we just signed apparently Jack as head coach and I had our biggest launch in months just a few weeks back with over 125 players signing up. So to catch up with the overflow, when this drops, we're reopening enrollment early for our spring launch. If you want to beat the rush and grab one of our 100 seats open for next season before we sell out, DM me on Discord with the keyword rush and we can talk details. I'll have my Discord first link down below and let's jump into the games yeah so honestly dude you're giving you're giving him too much respect like if he's moving up this way you should move with him fully with the expectation that you're gonna go back but just in case he messes up which he does you can be there and you can just shoot this ball around his net and score but see like this is this is exactly why you push up right because just in the event that they do mess up you get a freebie all right, we're gonna look for a flick. I like how you were taking it on an angle. You're doing a good job of that, like dri driving it that way so you can see him. That's all good. I would just say in terms of how you're carrying this ball, you're using way too much boost. It's what's causing you to go forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, and have these really like chop, like like this choppy carry that's like hard to control. Yeah, I don't mind you grabbing half boost here, pushing up. You have him beat. You can go for this ball. He's not going yet. So you, yeah, keep boosting forward with the aim to kind of hit this ball off the corner and maybe recenter for yourself. Once you have him here, you, you have the ability to play it around him. And if you play it off wall here, it's going to be super awkward for him to deal with. That's what I'm looking to do there. Yeah, let, letting him go is fine. Honestly, once he does this, just let him take and then take a wide route around so that way you can get a follow up on it. Don't even stay under this ball. Like once you realize that he's taking it here, sweet, he just started an air dribble. Your path should look like this and then maybe turn. Whereas you kind of kept moving under him for longer than you should. As if you just take that wide route around and let him go, you'll be able to hit that ball out to here and then maybe even follow it up and come around and score. Let's see how quickly we can get it out to the center. He's early challenging. If you see somebody about to early challenge like this, dude, don't even worry about flicking the ball. Just jump. <laughs> if you just jump, you'll pop it. You'll doink it right over his head. Ooh, so this is this is an interesting point to talk about. What do you think I might suggest you do with this play? What what, what information do we have? What do we know about this play? Uh, so the ball's coming uh, with my net or to my net, and I'm the furthest back. Do you suggest I just take it back to the corner? 100%. Ride this all the way back. You see two guys pushed up here. So yes, you can hit this ball, but you don't have enough boost to actually be able to follow it up. So playing mm -hmm. it back here just gives them possession while taking your time. So you should, you should be saying, thank you. Take this ball. I would honestly try to guide it into that side of the field. Buy yourself even more time. That way your teammate gets mid boost. Just because he hits it to you doesn't mean you have to hit it back to him. Like even in this situation, like I don't mind you like trying to boom this ball until you realize that nobody's challenging you. Like your, your play should be, yes, I'm going to boom this ball in case he tries to turn. But if you took time, you'd realize like nobody's here. Nobody's contesting you. You can literally catch this ball take it across the field and go flick and score on him. Nice, he makes a center here. I like you driving and staying grounded for as long as possible. This is a great job of like what actually a lot of champs mess up. It's like, oh, the ball's up, so I need to jump and hit it. Well, no, really the only way we're scoring this ball is if they both miss. So you might as well just try to meet it on the ground, which is exactly what you do. And then it allows you to push through, make a good 50 and your teammate gets a shot. Like he hits this ball center. I don't know if you have like a good touch here to make. You just turn back mm -hmm. like in these situations like yes you can try to like outrun him and get a beat but then what happens best case scenario you beat him hit it off the wall and then it's a 1v1 the whole goal of solo q2s is don't leave your teammate in a 1v1 because we're just going to assume that our teammates are going to lose it every time so just honestly drive at the ball like maybe you're going to go and then right here i would probably turn back because there's no threat let him continue to hit it here, I would love if you moved even closer. Like this is a super awkward ball for them. I would not assume that they're gonna boom this ball over your head. I would kind of stay central here, man. You continue to drift side, 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 all the way to this boost just naturally. And this kind of just stacks you with your teammate. And ah, okay. This this happens a lot in, in, uh, 
in champ lobby so this is a good point to comment on once this ball goes up here this is where i could tell you get a little bit awkward you turn off ball cam you try to stay under the ball what do you think is easier play to make here you could take the left route to collect the small pads in the midfield and then get a better angle on the ball absolutely when this ball comes here you say sweet thanks for hitting the ball over my head rotate wide around he's not going to be able to catch up to this ball or do anything you are in a perfect position right here i love you positioning anywhere in between these two boosts right because you're kind of waiting for a center you're ready to move there you're kind of backing your teammate up in case you know he loses this 50 here you're covering everything after your teammate gets this beat you just continue driving forward driving forward driving forward you realize you're pushed up too far now you have to turn back the ball comes center now you're turning forward again when in reality if you would have just held your position the entire time just held right here you would be fine don't feel like you have to continue driving forward 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 i would just hold this this line right here just keep driving like this uh here once you see your teammate going he's flying he's flying if your teammate shows that they're ever going just don't go there are two people flying for this ball we don't know what's gonna happen you end up making a touch on it but that's because they both miss their aerials and honestly here i'd say you probably don't even have to rush this ball like this comes here ideally we want to play this high but like not that hard like if we can get to this ball and like just kind of play it up and put it in the midfield like really awkward for him we can get more follow-ups than hitting this ball hard away honestly you don't even have to fly for this ball you have to understand that like if you if you boost at all here he's gonna assume you're going you have all the power here like if he's like right back cheating then fine just go go for a beat but like if you drive forward to this ball and then wait a second so much better for you Turn up the field. This is good. Honestly, another situation where what am I going to say? Don't jump early. Just 50 him. Yeah. You could slow play and just get like one touch way off to the right here and then follow it up. If you think you have a shot and you just have him beat, that's fine. You can just go for a beat. Yep. Just wait half here. Wait back as far as possible. Honestly, wait back even farther if you can. Good shot. I would honestly stop like right here. Like don't even move past here. The farther you are away the harder he can hit it away from them and center the ball to you. The closer you are to him, the less time the ball has to travel to you. If you're even positioned like right here, that makes it really easy for him to pass. Nobody's contesting you. Like in this situation here, this ball's going up. There is no need to even put like, like I don't even like when I'm playing, I'm not even trying to push this ball forward. I'm literally just looking at my camera here, waiting to see if he challenges. And if not, like I'm just kind of driving along the wall, ready to go for a beat like there's no reason to push this ball forward because you're not scoring this ball any hit forward is a throwaway in possession in 2v2 especially and in corners there's no goal ever going to come from it like there's no solo play you can make out of this position even if you're app jack so just conserve your boost and play for the next like play for wherever the ball ends up after that